Good morning. It's the Lando Gardner coming at you. Want to show y'all how the sugar cane is coming along. Look how thick that is. Oh, yeah. And this variety here. Oh, my goodness. It's, just, it's soft enough almost for a baby to chew and people with no teeth. I call it a popka because that's where I heard that it originated from. Get a close look. Reddish, pinkish, with a green stripe. The only thing I don't like about this variety is you have to keep planting it. It doesn't do like most other sugar canes, just keep coming up. It will come up, but you have to keep planting it if you want to keep good stock on hand. But it's absolutely delicious and super sweet and super saucy. This is the total opposite. <laughs> Ain't that something? <laughs> you have red, pink with a green stripe and a green with a red stripe. <laughs> this is a variety that I've had for quite some time. It's not as soft as the other one, but it's just as flavorful. I mean, just as flavorful. It's a good cane. And I like it for the color if nothing else. The juice is good. There's a good juice to this. But yeah, this is mainly for the color. This y'all is my pride and joy. For those that's been following the channel for a long time, you know that years ago I went down to Pine Island. Let me tell you the story. So, I go to Pine Island, literally Pine Island. I'm looking for this fruit stand that I've Googled. And the GPS sends me past the fruit stand and sends me to the guy's home. I go to his home and his farm looked like this back then. He's big on mangoes and he's big on sugar cane. And I got from him back then 17 varieties of sugar cane. No, not 17, cause I got others from other places. I end up with 17 varieties of sugar cane, but I got from him probably about 12. I used to go and stop at people homes. I would go to Latin communities and Caribbean communities because they always keep sugar cane somewhere close. And I would knock on the doors and pay for a stalk or either somebody would give me a stalk. But I went to this property on Pine Island and he had all these varieties. And um, I think he charged me like a dollar or two to a stalk, something like that. And uh, this variety here, oh my goodness, is butter melting soft legitimately it's a deep royal green okay look at that cerise and look at that sugar cane <sighs> these mosquitoes are a mess and it is so sweet so flavorful and so soft oh my goodness it's amazing this is my pride and joy this is the only uh, amount of it that I have in this one barrel and I'm hoping that it just fills this whole barrel and I can if I lose anything I don't want to ever lose this variety ever that and, and the one I call a popka I forget the name of this variety but this is one of the ones that I got from Pine Island as well it's a it's a good cane I believe this is a uh, juicing cane I got, if you go back on the old videos, you'll see some of the, no look at this mess, y'all. See what I'm talking about? Y'all said don't get rid of it. 
anyway this cane video and uh yeah this is a good variety it, it grows pretty tall pretty big pretty beefy not as beefy as that first one down there that we went to but it's good this is a variety i've had trouble growing for years jamaican black but i got it this year y'all i got it i got it i got it i have it in a couple of places on the property but here it's doing well and the stalks are thick the nodes are real short uh this cane is a very different cane um the texture is <sighs> papery um chalky if you would it kind of it crumbles there we go it crumbles in your mouth but it's so soft and so sweet jamaican black <sighs> If you look back on some of my videos recently, you see that I went to I went to uh, a cane grower in Georgia and uh, purchased some cane from him. And uh, this is a uh, one, two, three, four, about four or five varieties in this barrel. I put them here just to preserve them. Um, here we got Florida Green. This is Florida Green. As you see, Florida Green has a wax on it. See that? Over here, I didn't get this from him. I'm just growing this in this location. This is Jamaican Black. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Georgia Green. I like how it's like black mildewish at the top. And there's a number for this cane. I'll get it for you in the future. And then over here, there's another variety here. Wait a minute, here. And as you can see, it comes up and it has a pink look. And then you got this one over here. And that one over there is called Georgia Hybrid. It's called Georgia Hybrid. It's a red Georgia Red Hybrid right there. Okay. This is a variety that I favor. I'm having such trouble getting this stuff to come up, y'all. Oh, I'm having such trouble. But as long as I keep it in stock, I feel comfortable that one day it's gonna make itself happen. It's, it's gonna happen. This is a variety that I used to stop at these people house from Jamaica. I mean, they're literally from Jamaica. And they brought this cane here. It is so sweet, so soft, so thick and green all y'all out there from jamaica if you know what variety this is i know you really can't see it i don't really want to disturb it because i'm having such a hard time but it's green it's soft it's similar to the other green over there um but the flavor is definitely different maybe i need to weed it <laughs> but this particular variety is really good and um i'm hoping one day that this thing really takes off and um and do its thing. I recently threw some collard green leaves in here. I'm trying to really cultivate the soil to get it where it'll do what it's supposed to do. Over here is a variety. I got, I stopped at a yard when I was in Alabama, y'all. And I I uh, asked these people, I was like, hey, can I get a stalk of cane? They was like, it's out of season. But yeah, we got some back there and they gave me a piece this is a syrup cane it's not a juicing cane it's not a chewing cane it's a serping cane it tastes exactly like the old alligator syrup that used to be in the stores years ago i mean the juice itself tastes exactly like that the old alligator syrup next to it we have what most people call home green home green this is home green from florida <sighs> look at that look y'all eat my fruit and this is uh florida red which i've neglected this particular um 
bed for years, but I just kept it around. But it's coming up now. It's kind of thin, but I'm working on the soil. Let me pan around to home green. Home green from Florida. But this is Georgia red, which is similar to Florida red, which is a pretty good variety. And the rest of the cane that I have uh, got from the guy, I got it sitting here uh, growing. Got that sitting here growing. This is another spot here that I got uh, Jamaican black right here. And we come on to the back. I used to try to grow in, um, grow things in uh, old tires. That didn't work. And this is another variety that I have. I know I need to clean, clean this out. But uh, I got this from Pine Island when I went to that particular fella's house. And it's a variety. It's pretty decent. That's it. You get to see it there. That's the variety it is. I forget the name. Uh, but it's here on the property. Look, y'all. Look how it's looking back here. It's going to look different when you come to visit. That's the joy of growing in pots. You can move and groove. Shake and bake. But, yeah, that is a look at the sugar cane that we have. I used to have so many more, but now we're down to just a few, and I've found out what worked for me, and I'm cool with that. My main ones, Jamaican black. My number one, number one, number one. This one here, this super duper soft, sweet, delicious tasting uh, green cane. My number two is this extremely baby chewing soft cane that comes from a popka. And if I want one to just sit down and peel and eat with you all, when you come visit, is this variety because they're big, they're thick, and they're very juicy and very flavorful. As a matter of fact, this one is also... Hi, Lemon Jess. Hi, Peace Cobbler. This one also right here see how thick they are yeah these stalks stalks are thick y'all i got it growing right here got got it well sold up right here so this is orlando gardener coming at you y'all and uh glad that y'all are oh look at this view of the cane look at this view Caitlin, you have a friend? Oh. Okay, come over here and say hello to you two. Come on, Caitlin. Bring your friend over here. Come here. Come say something. Y'all stand right here and say hello. This is a sugar cane video. Caitlin, I made a friend. How you doing, sir? Good. What's your name? My name is Makai. Okay. And I'm a bike expert. You're a bike expert? Yeah. Okay, that's your, huh? And you, and you know how to do all the tricks. And do all the tricks? On yes. the bike. Okay, can both of y'all in the count of three say good morning. One, two, three. Good morning. Say bye-bye. Bye. Like, share, and subscribe.